everyone. So um, today I am filming a stocking stuffer video for you. So this is showing what's going in my husband's stocking as well as our three kids. The kids are almost eight, um, seven, and two and a half. So I will show you what I got each of them. I tried to stick to low waste or zero waste items. So um, I did set out hoping for the stocking stuffers to be entirely zero waste, but um, it didn't 100% happen, but I think that these are definitely low waste stockings. It's mostly consumables and some zero waste type stuff that everyone can use. I'll show you what I mean as I go through. Um, I'm really hoping to get my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video filmed soon. Um, we actually already gave the kids their big present because my daughter is going away for two weeks with her dad and so we wanted to give her a chance to play with it before Christmas. Um, and we didn't, because it was a joint gift, we didn't want my stepson to uh, not be able to open his biggest present uh, until well after Christmas. So I've already received that, but I'll still show you what I got them for that. Anyways, um, I'm just waiting for one more gift to come and then I'm hoping to have that filmed as soon as possible. Hopefully before like Christmas Eve. <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna start with my husband's stocking and then I'll show you my toddlers and then the two older kids because the older kids are almost exactly the same. Just a couple slight variations so that things are a little bit different. Um, yeah, I'll start with my husband's. So first off, um, I got him some green tea. So I, I showed this in my, what I got my husband for Christmas video, but I'll just show you his stocking stuff anyways because I've added some things. Um, so I got this and it is embossed. I had originally thought I might get a cute little jar and go to bulk barn and fill it up, but I just ended up grabbing this quickly at the grocery store. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna try and reuse this container though because I think it would work really well at like bulk barn or something like that because it's um, so nice and lightweight. You know, the glass containers get so heavy. But yeah, so this is just like a green mint tea. It's like a little bit nicer than what he normally drinks for green tea, so I'm hoping he'll like it. I also got, so he works in construction, so he works in extreme conditions sometimes, uh, or quite often. So um, his hands crack all the time, and it gets really painful at times for him. So I bought him this. Obviously it's not zero waste, but I think for medical type stuff, like lotions, um, necessary lotions, you know? Uh, for stuff like this, and for like toothpaste and things like that, sometimes exceptions should be made in the zero waste department. So I got him this O'Keefe's Working Hands Cream. It's like nine dollars or so but i think this will help with his cracked hands i also got him um some steel straws so i showed the black ones in my what what i got my husband for christmas video so i'm obsessed with stainless steel straws as many uh, wannabe zero wasters are <laughs> but we love them they're the best like reusable plastic straws suck we love using steel straws because they get so nice and cold when you put them in your drink and we just love them but I have like rose gold, gold, and unicorn stainless steel straws right now, and so I just got him <clears throat> some of his own. So I have some black ones that I got on clearance at Winners for four bucks. So these four black straws, and then I got him two red ones because his favorite color is red, and they had red stainless steel straws at Bulk Barn for Christmas. So I thought, perfect. Now he's got these. Nice zero waste gift idea. Last year I gifted almost everyone I was buying gifts for um, steel straws there because they're so awesome and everyone loves them. Um, I also am just giving him a lip balm, so I got a set of Young Living lip balms in my order this month, and so I thought I'd give some out of stocking stuffers, so he's getting the grapefruit one, the kids are getting these too. Again, like, lip balms. I guess you can get them in a tin, but I think for those kind of medical things, like I said, exceptions should be made in the zero waste world. And the last thing I got him um, in his stocking is this soap. So we have this little store in town here, uh, called Backwoods Candle and Soap, and it's run by two um, local owners, and they make bath bombs and soaps and all kinds of things, and they had this beer soap, so I chose to get him this. Um, he had been looking at this Lucky scented soap, but that was um, like an hour away from us, and I didn't want to drive that far, so I just got this in town, and I like supporting local businesses, and this is kind of a zero waste gift because it's only wrapped in paper, but very excited to give this to him and so this is supposed to smell like um vancouver island brewery beer and i know he likes that brewery so 
he tends to like craft beer. So that's the last thing in his stocking. So just a few little things, um, mostly things that he like needs and I know he'll definitely use. So now I'm going to show you my toddler's stocking. So for the kids, I like to do a mix of wants and needs. So I didn't do needs for their Christmas gifts this year, but I did do needs in their stockings because there's always little things that they really do need that I get at this time. So first off, I got him a pack of underwear. I think it's impossible to buy underwear zero waste, like it, for kids anyways. Uh, you have to get it in plastic. So it's just one of those things you've got to do. I'm planning on doing a video soon on like what worked zero waste wise and what didn't. And I'll be talking about like the ways that you can't be 100% zero waste. I think unless you're childless and living in a really zero waste friendly urban sort of community, it's almost impossible. Um, but yeah, anyway, so <laughs> that'll be a different video. So I got him this, these undies. He is obsessed with Paw Patrol, like absolutely obsessed. So I got him underwear because he's gonna be potty training soon. He's two and a half, so that's one of his stocking things. It was like 10 bucks for these. Underwear is expensive for kids, but yeah, got those. Um, I also got him a tube of toothpaste. So each of the kids like to have their own toothpaste. I don't know why they're so weird about it, but they like to have their own. They don't like to share. So he got a Paw Patrol tube and um, this is like the slightly more expensive toothpaste because it's, um, it's got like cute characters on it. So I thought that'd be great for a stocking stuffer. I really tried to go zero waste with toothpaste. I tried making my own, um, but it's just one of those things. Like it's a medical type thing. And I think that you should just suck it up and buy what's in plastic. We do use bamboo toothbrushes because I think that those work just as well as regular toothbrushes and it saves a lot of plastic, uh, but we get toothpaste and plastic. This is for no stocking. Um, and then he got, so another local business that I wanted to support was Epicure. So I absolutely love Epicure. It's um, a company based off of Vancouver Island where we live, out of Victoria. And um, so I bought a set of popcorn seasoning for the kids. So there were three different ones. This is the one Noah's getting. So it's creamy dill. Um, our kids are weirdly obsessed with popcorn every Friday. They've got to have these giant bowls and they each have their own bowl. And so we've got to make a couple batches that everyone gets enough. Um, they actually eat their popcorn or, popcorn out of dog bowls, but yeah. So I thought it'd be kind of funny to give them popcorn choppers. And this is in glass, which is nice. So that's for Noah. And then the last thing in his stocking is just this little jar of candy. So this was purchased completely zero waste. I went to Bulk Barn and I brought my own bags and filled them up with four different kinds of candy. Well, I didn't fill them. It was like a scoop per bag. <laughs> and it was pretty cheap to do this. So for three jars of candy, I only paid like three or four bucks. Well, wait a sec. Uh, that's not true. <laughs> three or four bucks, what am I talking about? It was like 10 bucks or so. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Oh, I guess that's what I meant. About three bucks per jar. It's a pretty good deal for this much candy and it's nice candy. It's like Hershey's Kisses. Um, uh, the like mini eggs and Christmas colors and then a couple of different types of gummies and these jars I bought from um, Superstore and I just figured we'll keep them and we'll use them every year for Christmas treats I have jars like that for Easter I could even put like play-doh or bath bombs in here if I did decided to make those and these little tag things here These could totally be used as Christmas ornaments if I don't want to keep them in the jar. They're super cute Yeah, so that is what Noah got in his stocking um, Oh, wait, wait, wait the other thing I got. So I, I bought a whole bunch of reusable snack bags off of this lady on a swap and shop group. She makes them. I actually bought these in like September, but then when I saw them, I was like, these are really cute. I should save them for stocking. So this is another zero waste stocking stuffer idea, Paw Patrol and uh, cars because he is obsessed with both of those. So yeah, that's everything I was getting in his stocking. And then on to the big kids. So they have very similar things to Noah, but I put a couple extras in there because they're bigger. Um, so instead of underwear, each of them got socks. So Carter got these socks. I actually bought these on clearance um, at Halloween. So black, these have cats. He's really obsessed with cats. So these are his socks. Isla's socks. I also got at Halloween on clearance. So they have ghosts on them. She really likes all things like supernatural. So. I got her these. Supernatural, spooky, that kind of stuff. A jar of candy. I think they're the same, so it doesn't really matter who gets what, but same as Noah. 
think they just got a little bit more than him. They also got popcorn toppers, so Isla's getting the white cheddar, and Carter is getting maple kettle corn because he doesn't usually like <clears throat> like flavors on his popcorn. So, but he likes sweet popcorn, so I figured this would work better for him. Each of them also got a tube of toothpaste, so this is Isla's. She really likes Jurassic World, especially blue, so she got this. And Carter is getting the Mario toothpaste because he still really likes Mario. They're each getting a tube of chapstick, so I'm not sure who's getting which one, but there's a lavender and a cinnamon, so each will get one of these. They are each getting a bath bomb from the same store that I got Steve's soap from, so these are made in-house at that store. They're super awesome, so they're Harry Potter sorting bath bombs, so they've got like the lightning bolt on the front, and when you put them in water, they change the color of the water to sort you into whichever house you are, <laughs> so it's like red for Gryffindor, yellow for Hufflepuff, green for Slytherin, blue for Ravenclaw. It's super cute. And then they both also got some snack bags. So these are Carter's. There's Mario snack bags, or I mean, a Mario snack bag. So he got a slightly bigger one. I don't think no one needs big snack bags. So Carter got a big one. He also got a kitty snack bag. Isla got a Harry Potter one because she's really obsessed with Harry Potter. She got a dragon snack bag and she got a shark one. And there's no particular reason that I got um, Isla more than the other two. It was just they had more patterns she liked, so I just ordered more. I think there was also a deal like purchase a certain amount of snack bags, purchase a certain amount of sandwich bags, you get a deal, whatever. I'm not sure how, why that came to be, but yeah, these are her bags. These are so cute. You wouldn't be able, this is what I love about buying things locally made, is you wouldn't be able to find stuff like this anywhere else. And these were so cheap. It was like three or four dollars a bag. It was crazy. Uh, considering how much like bumpkins bags and keep leaf bags and stuff are. And then the last thing I got for their stockings. So um, we, did, we got them a week for Christmas, but they also have DSs that we bought them last Christmas. So I was in Value Village and I saw these and so I picked them up. So these were only $2 each. And so Carter's getting the cat one and Isla's getting the dog one because they're adamant that Carter loves cats, Isla loves dogs, whatever. But yeah, they were a really good deal. And I honestly, I've never bought a game new. So yeah, that is everything that I put in my husband and three kids stockings. Um, I hope you got some great ideas from, great ideas, that makes me sound so full of myself. I hope you got some okay-ish, mediocre, all right ideas. <laughs> I hope you got some ideas from watching this. Um, tried to go zero waste, didn't really happen. Low waste stocking stuff for ideas. But yeah, thanks for watching.